Hey guys, what's up? It's Seth uh, with InDemandCareer.com. I show people how to get jobs in digital marketing with no previous experience or education. But in this video, I'm going to talk about non-digital marketing jobs. This video is called the top five non-tech in-demand skills for time freedom. I want to show you how to get jobs and clients in non-technical fields that you may not have heard of because again, a lot of these things, of course, they're not talked about in school. And these are other opportunities to earn income side income you can call it a side hustle but there is really good earnings potential in these skills so let's get right into it uh here's the criteria i used when putting this together it needs to be something that can be learned in a relatively short time relatively you don't you know just immediately start doing it but you do have to learn um it doesn't require a degree or any special talent providing you with flexibility i.e part-time or remote and high earning potential with, if you have hustle, persistence, and determination. That is an ingredient for anything. You have to have hustle. So how is it possible that there are in-demand skills, non-tech in-demand skills? The, what I've noticed when looking for these things is I've, they're usually inside of a pinpointed demand for services or solutions within an already big and thriving industry. It's usually something the mainstream isn't aware of, or the mainstream is, as I've preached all the time, spending so much time and money in college, not learning these simple skills. I would say simple, but these more straightforward skills that people actually need. And I also only talked about skills where the training for these skills can be done directly online, just like with my digital marketing course. So let's start with the first skill. And the first one is gonna be bookkeeping. Now this is something ev nearly every business needs it. And I'm just gonna come back here for one second. I wanna, another criteria I will say for you guys is remember, this is not your life's purpose, these skills. This is, this is a way for you to have the power to earn income with more control. Don't, you know, bookkeeping isn't sexy but it can be very profitable and it doesn't have to dominate your life. Like if you have a day job, you know, working 70 hours a week. Bookkeeping is essentially keeping track of transactions for proper accounting and payment of taxes. Um, it is a major headache for every business owner and it's needed in good and bad economies. Does not require a degree or a license. You know, account if you want to be a CPA, also accounting, that's another thing I'll talk about sometime. You actually don't need a degree. You actually don't even need a degree to be an accountant, but that's another story. But you don't need a degree to be a bookkeeper. You're really just the very detail-oriented person that is keeping track of how much money a business spends and receives. And I, when I was running my business in the beginning and I didn't have much business, I didn't use one as soon as I started getting even just a little bit of business, I needed a bookkeeper to organize and account for these things when I have to do my taxes at the end of the year. It is every, every business pretty much uses a bookkeeper. So there's a lot of opportunities. You need to be detail oriented, good with numbers, obviously. And you, you also need to have an entrepreneurial uh, spirit. My recommended resource is a course called The Bookkeeper Business Launch by Ben Robinson. And it's again, Ben is very much like me. He was working in his field for a long time and was like, oh my God, I can train people to do this. And uh, like my course, if you, I'm, I put the link to his site below, you can take a free introductory course. He spends about an hour and a half explaining about like what's required to be a bookkeeper, but also the earnings potential and the most important thing, how to get clients. His in-depth training is like my course because most other trainings just leave people, oh, here's how you do bookkeeping. Here's how you balance a, you know books. And then, well, how do you make money? <laughs> Uh, most bookkeepers do not know marketing and he is teaching you the skills plus how to actually get the clients. And I'll tell you this, um, I actually, you know, he, um, he doesn't do as much marketing in terms of like YouTube testimonials like I do, but I'm on his, I'm in his course and I'll just tell you, I don't want you to look at these names. I, they're private, but basically Every week, there's such a community of people in his full course um, that every week they're keeping track of who's getting which client, how many clients each person has. So 
you can see here, it's like this person got their 12th client, 13th client, first client um, who got certified in this or that. It's very engaging, interactive. Again, much, I think, you know, what he's teaching, the way he's doing it is just it's similar to what I do. So I definitely, you know, definitely something that you want to have in your back pocket. You know, it's great thing about all these skills is you don't have to go to work full time. It's like you pick up one or two clients and you have this part time income. So that's that's bookkeeping. The second one is called loan signing notary. And guys, even fewer people know about this. OK, so regular notary is like when you go and you get this license from the government that says you're able to stamp documents and say this is notarized. It's official. Right. And it only costs 10 bucks. You can go to the post office and get something notarized, right? So how do you make any money? Well, a loan signing notary makes more like $75, $85, $100, $150, $200 per notarization because of real estate. And this is where I was talking about correlating or being related to a thriving or big industry. Every real estate transaction requires legal verification and notarization of hundreds of documents, hundreds of documents. And I know this because my business partner, when I met him, Adam, he was doing this and he would, we'd be hanging out. He would leave the apartment for two hours, come back and he'd make 150 bucks. And I was like, what did you, where did you go? He said, I'm doing a notary. Said, notary. That's you do that at the post office. No, nah, man, it's, I do it for real estate. As long as people are buying and selling houses, people need this skill. And there is a lack of skilled workers. <laughs> It doesn't require a degree. It does require licensure, which you can get um, relatively easily. You know, this is one of those licenses. This isn't like a medical license. This is more like a driver's license, something anybody can do as long as you're, I don't know, a citizen. Um, and it, it's doable. It takes a few hours per signing. It's, again, something where you have to be detail oriented and willing to learn very complex procedures and rules and really be accountable for the, you know, making sure everything is in order with these documents. My recommended resource is a course called Loan Signing System by Mark Wills. Um, he, again, another guy like me, similar, you know, was working, just decided to teach people how to do it. He has a really um, great, his website is actually super pimped out. He's got a free training. Again, I would sign up for the free training. This is his little calculator. You know, let's say you only want to work two signings per week. You don't feel comfortable talking to people and you do put things into action. You know, he's saying you can make $400 a month. But what if you want to put in a little more effort? You want to do, you know, some marketing. This is the type of um, results you can get. And like, like me, what I like about him is he has a ton of testimonials. Um, Sorry, my, my internet's a little bit slow here. Um, but anyway, I, you know, come on. The problem with a Chromebook. He's got, hold on, the YouTube is taking a minute to load here. That was my internet, not his, uh, not his website. Hold on, let me fix this. There we go. So anyway, you can, you can come to that, uh, the website and, whoops move me over here and you can see a ton of testimonials for for this again this is this to me is like very very close to digital marketing in that is it is a skill set that is very, you know, very highly in demand and really people if you say to someone you're a loan signing notary they really wouldn't know what what you're talking about the other thing i will address that's very interesting is that he he even talked some about what to do during covid because this is one of the skills that is not a remote skill you have to actually go and do these notaries but he talks about how to navigate coronavirus and one of the really interesting things is that this is an essential service being a known notary loan signing agent that shows you how powerful this is guys when people you know the economy needs houses and real estate to be bought and sold and they need these documents to be notarized so you actually have the um ability to work even if uh maybe other people aren't working um but yeah this is the one of the skills that is not really remote but it is definitely something that has a lot of earning potential like i said my my best friend still does this from time to time but he was doing it a lot when i met him and he was making really good money and it gave him enough free time to pursue his 
passions in life, like acting and directing and other things. So I really, uh, I would definitely check out that training. The third thing is proofreading. So every time something is written, there is a major chance of a mistake. And I'm talking about books, blogs, academic papers on the one hand, but also medical and legal transcripts and documents. And that's where there's a lot more money. Um, there's many jobs on Upwork, but um, proofreading is something where, you know, maybe you're a person who loves reading, grammar, correcting people's mistakes. It takes a lot of focus. Um, and I recommend, so I personally, like I said, I know Caitlin, um, but I don't know that as much about her program as I do the other two, but it looks like it's very similar in terms of what her messaging is. And she does have a lot of really good testimonials, which is saying, I was a proofreader. I can teach you how to proofread the pitfalls, what is necessary, but also how to get proofreading jobs. There are jobs on Upwork and more so it's how to get connected to, I think, the higher level jobs, which is going to be more medical and legal proofreading. It's like anything else. You start out slow and you build up. Um, proofreading is so, I mean, I, I Obviously, I don't have medical or legal experience, but when I wrote my book, Skip College for Success, I was shocked because I proofread my own book. And it wasn't until I had somebody else do the proofreading that I realized how many mistakes I had made. Even though I had looked at the same page, I didn't even see these mistakes until someone else looked at it. So it's a very valuable skill set, guys. Um, and again, there are people out there who are, whether you're writing, uh, blog posts for a very visible brand. You know, you don't want to have mistakes if millions of people are reading your stuff or a small business or these medical uh, and legal transcripts and documents where, again, the money, those are very high, you know, you know high uh, um, net revenue, you know, big industries. There's going to be more money there. But again, you may have never thought that there's money in proofreading. I would advise check out Caitlin's website. I have the link below. Check out her free intro course and learn more about that. The next in-demand skill set, which is similar, is transcription. So whenever there's a spoke, not whenever there's spoken word, but there are transcripts are required in many instances. It could be corporate America. It could be, um, again, legal and medical transcription, which is better because, again, there's more money in that. And on a side note, guys, there's a major shortage of court reporters. Now, this is not this is not a quick like um, online course. This requires more training, but this is a six figure job, guys, because there's a major major shortage of court reporters. Um, there, Google it. There are news articles about this. Most of the people who do the court reporting, you know, court reporting is when there's a trial, and you know, there's always that person typing and keeping track of everything that is said in the courtroom. And most of those folks are getting older, and the, you know, the schools are not teaching people about this profession. In fact, they, I saw one of these uh, news items because they're trying to recruit people to get the basic training required to do this. Now, this, of course, is something where you need an excellent command of grammar, language, quick mind, quick thinking, details, and you need to be able to type or learn the process of typing, which is something you, again, can get trained in. The recommended resource I hear is called, I have here is called Transcribe Anywhere by Janet Shaughnessy. Um, you know, once again, it's not just about the skills, but how to get gigs with this course. I like what she's teaching. I like the information. I didn't see as many testimonials with pictures as I did in the other training. Um, I believe it is a good program. If you find a better program, go for it. It's up to you. But I would check out her free intro course, intro course, because if you like typing and you also like language and things like that, this is something, again, you may have never thought that there is money available. And again, it's some of these gigs, it's like, you know, you need to transcribe this many pages or, you know, or I'm sorry, listen to this many minutes um, of conversation. You can use your typing ability and turn it into some income on the side. So I would check that out. And the last one is writing, writing. And this is very specific type of writing, SEO and copywriting. SEO writing is writing articles for content content to help companies' websites rank higher in Google. And if you've taken my course or you know anything about SEO, you know what that is. Um, there's definitely a certain technique to that, which can be learned. But if you have the ability to write conversational, engaging prose, you can do this. And, um, and this is more of like, 
I'd say, you know, whether you were or weren't a college grad, if you like writing, this is definitely something to consider. Also, copywriting. This is different. This is persuasive writing to compel people to buy products or services. This is very psychological. And copywriting pays more because obviously it can lead to actual income directly, but it's more in depth to learn. It's more of an art form. Whereas SEO writing, I think is a little bit more basic writing, but you need to be able to write with an engaging voice. Now, SEO writing, article writing, again, quality leads to more money. You can Google article content writers. Um, there's websites like iWriter.com or textbroker.com. You can Google like websites like Textbroker, Textbroker Alternatives. Textbroker is a website where like literally you you can sign up and be assigned a little project very quickly. The problem with text broker is it really doesn't pay very much. You're getting paid like one or two pennies a word. Um, but what you can do is as you do some jobs and you get better and they realize that you're a quality writer, you're not just somebody pumping out content or you're, you know, if you're a, a native, native English speaker, you can get boosted up to a higher level where companies will pay more money to get higher quality content. And that is why I recommend my last resource here, which is free, the Freelance to Win blog by Danny Margules. He's a partner of mine. The blog has great free advice on freelancing in any skill, but particularly as a writer. And he has a course called The Freelance Copywriter's Code and Secrets of a Six-Figure Upworker. Um, and there's, you know, there's two components. Obviously, there's learning to do the actual writing, to do the actual copywriting. But the main thing is, how do you actually command what you're worth for your writing? And that's the, the theme you've seen in everything I've recommended and in my own training is I don't just want to teach people skills. I want to teach them how to then apply those skills and get paid, get clients or get a job. And what I like about Danny is he has the exact same point of view. And he has, if you go to his website, I have the link below, you'll also see a tons, tons and tons of testimonials. So even if you don't take any of the training or the free resources I recommend, you know, you can go to upwork.com and just do a, sign up for a free account and look, you will see bookkeeping jobs, you will see proofreading, you will see transcription jobs, and you will see writing jobs, thousands of jobs available on Upwork. Uh, the loan signing notary jobs, loan signing agents, those are all in, in person to my knowledge. Um, but everything else is virtual and can be done part time. And there's many, many, many other resources, not only to get the jobs, but to learn these skills. But this is just to give you some inspiration. Um, there are so many skills out there. Again, <clears throat> I'm a, I am think digital marketing is the, is the cat's meow. I think it is the best, but these are also really, really great. Um, and again, it's still better than college. You could buy all of the training programs that I mentioned five times, and you would still pay less than one class in medieval philosophy at NYU. If one resonates with you, try their tree, free training, research it, ask them questions, follow through. You know, they all have money back guarantees, unlike college. <laughs> and remember, these are part time, low impact gigs to give you time freedom. They're not your life's purpose. Yes, you have to put in time and effort. You have to really focus if you want to learn the skills, if you want to get the clients. You do have to put in that time and energy, but it's like nothing compared to a full-time job. And again, this isn't like, oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a loan signing notary until I'm 80. No, like with, with my friend, it's like amazing. He, when he wants to, he just picks that skill up and says, I think I'm gonna do some notaries and makes a few hundred or a few thousand dollars. And then he puts his focus on other things. Um, you can do that with every single one of these skills. You can do that with digital marketing. You know, you don't have to get a full-time job. You can pick up a client here and there. You can do a, di a gig, uh, uh, an audit, a consultation, all these different things. There are options when you look at things in terms of skills. So how long have I been talking? Because I'm going to wrap this up. Ooh, <laughs> for 20 minutes. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Um, I've had this debate about if I should shorten my videos and like make them kind of more, I don't know, like the ones I've seen where it's like really quick cuts and really quick information, but I like to get in depth with people, but I don't know if I'm boring you. So leave, please leave a comment below. Let me know if you found this useful. If you have any questions, what you think about the length of the video, would love your feedback. Hope this was helpful guys. And I will see you soon.